and follow the game plan, we were successful. Third quarter, they start to do their own things and we moved away from our goal game plan and that's when Zamalek scored all of their points. So it's about sticking the structure and staying together with what we've planned before the game. So is this the message that has already been passed into the locker room or you still have to go back with the team to look at the video to see where uh, where the players are or where you guys have collective elastic team to be able to because you go back to the arena tomorrow against uh, Force Army Police of Cabo. Is this this message has it already been transmitted to the team or something that we're going to do between today and the end of tomorrow? Yeah, look, we, we did have a video session today um, and then we've showed them exactly how good we look when we play together, when we play within the system. At the moment, players want to play ISO basketball, we look bad as a team, we don't execute, and our person can take, take the advantage from that, and, and that's what happened today. When you look at the way a team played, the way your teammates, you guys played the, 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 first, uh, the first half of this thing, what, what are some of the positive aspects because what was to dwell on? What are some of the positive aspects that we picked from this game, which we can replicate in the next three games? Well, the, the one positive aspect we have to use is us staying together, us playing our type of basketball. Because whatever we got playing together, it's good results. But now, when uh, time goes, we some of us decide to play ISO basketball, it looks terrible. But us sticking together, it works for us. That's what we've been practicing to do. That's what we've been told to do. Coach, what impact did it have to have Billy and Jamal on the starting team tonight as opposed to in the first game? Could it have a big impact on the morale and also on the game plan? Yes, it's, um, I mean, if you touch on that point, um, going back to Monday's game, we've been training for two months with 
five players as a starting five, you work on a structure, and suddenly a few hours before the game, you must now replace. Guys' mindsets must change. Normally, they get four or five minutes. Now they must get 15 to 20 minutes. So it was good to have them back. But I also just feel that if they played, this was going to be our second game together in the Basketball Africa League. And then continuity would have been better as a team. Um, I think we're going to get better. I see this officially as our first game where we played the 12. So definitely positive results tomorrow and, and the days to come. But it's good to have them back. back. Um, one thing that, that the opposition couldn't do was ball pressure because both Jamel and um, and Billy are good ball handlers. So I was happy they couldn't press us. Festilla played a better game because of that. So a lot of positives to take out of out of the loss. Thank you very much, Coach. I will let you and Simonioni go back and rest because tomorrow you know, we have back to back games. And then, of course, I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the next three games. And we should see you. Looking forward to seeing you here tomorrow with, with a victory. What a W. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going we're going to start this uh in press conference um between the team between the Cape Town Tigers and from South Africa and Zanle basketball host team of the nine conference of the Basketball Africa League. I'll just give a reminder of the final score, Cape Town Tigers 74, 77, sorry, and Zamalek 101 points. Um, thank you very much, Edgar and Coach Phil, for joining us uh, this evening. Coach, well, it's a game of numbers. One, two, three, four, five of your players scored double digit points. Uh, 22 assists, the efficiency rate of 121. The team Zamalek is five, the pressure of playing at home, the positive pressure, of course, is cruising to kick out. Is that your opinion? That? And then let me just ask the question I asked for the pressure coach. Are you overly confident or you're just doing your job? As a team. Yeah, I was going to say that didn't that didn't feel like cruising uh, <laughs> to me. Um, you know, that's a good Cape Town team. That's a much different team than what played against uh, Petro. Um, you know, they're missing their two best players in that first game, um, and you know we're down in the half. So uh, that that was a hard fought win. Um, I think our guys did a really great job responding. Uh, at halftime, and, and I think I told them in the locker room, I think the, the half of basketball that they put on the floor in the second half is as good as what I've seen at any level uh, in a long time. So if we can sustain that, then yeah, um, you know, that, that would be great. But we know, uh, you know, these teams are, are all good. They're here for a reason. So we've got to be that good uh, in our next game and, and every game. اوكي دلوقتي الكوتش بيقول ان الاول الكوتش بيقول ان هو ان كيب تاون تيم كويس جدا طبعا وان هم الزمالك عمل شغل الزمالك كويس قوي عشان هو يكسب وان طبعا زي ما كلنا شفنا ان السكند هاف كان احسن بكتير جدا وان هو ما شافش كده في لونج تايم يعني في وقت طويل وان هم محتاجين يفضلوا على كده عشان يعرفوا يكسبوا الماتشات الجايه ان شاء الله I have a question. Uh, coach, congratulations for the for the win. Actually, I have this one question. In the first half, uh, Captain Tigers seems to play a lot of defense, switching from zone to man to man, and cause some defensive stops. Uh, I wonder what are you going to do? Some uh, what are you going to do? Some adjustment when you're playing against. Petro de Luanda, you're playing on Friday, I guess. Uh, because they are so good at switching defense and doing all those all those tricks. 
Are there, are there any adjustments that you're going to take on the next game? Yeah, that's a, a good question. Um, obviously, I don't want to give Petro our scouting report in our press conference, but um, they're, you know, they're a, a really aggressive uh, defensive team. Um, you know, they trap a lot. So I think uh, for us, there's some lessons we can learn from this game uh, that will help us. Um, and I'll tell you what they were after the game against Pinch. Uh, so I can والرجاله كانت ان هو طبعا مش عايز يحرق اللي هيحصل بس هو ممكن يتكلم عن الحاجات دي بعد اما ماتش يوم الجمعه يخلص. Coach, having already won this tournament before, what do you feel is driving on us to continue producing at such a high level? Um, well, I mean, he's a really good player. To me, that's what really good players do. Um, you know, I, I cut my teeth as a coach under Greg Popovich, and I remember him always saying that what separates the great players is that they do it every night. Uh, so I think, you know, for him, he, he you know, is in that echelon, of, you know, a great player. Uh, and that means that, you know, you're motivated to give your best and play at, at that level every single time you take the floor. Okay, go ahead with the translation. Um, can the first thing you want to say to him is that he will win it or win it? What do you think about him? He said that he has to win Um, do you feel that you guys slightly underestimated the Tigers in advance? And what did Coach say at half time to you guys? Yeah. Um, I definitely don't think that we underestimated them. I think we knew their talent and their strengths uh, coming into this game. Um, in the first half, Coach just told us that we were lacking energy. Uh, we were playing their game, a kind of slow down, slow paced game letting them uh, get to their strengths. And at halftime, coach just told us that we have to rev it up a little bit, push the energy, push the tempo, try to tire them out because they play in a short rotation. And uh, that's what we did, and it, it worked to our benefit. Um, Coach, uh, I have two questions, one for the Butch and one for the Susa. For the Butch, the player said in the last press conference that they know you very well and you know your gaps in the game, and so it could be uh, like individual game and he will be excited. He's very excited to face you. He's the man. Okay. And for the Susa, uh, I you see that uh, the match against Pepe with the fans, the rally fans in Egypt, maybe who will win the match? He will be at the top at the end of uh, this tournament. Um, I mean, yeah, this is a big game. Uh, we know uh, Petro's talent. We know that they're a group that's been playing together for, for a while. So they know each other really well and they know their system really well. Um, but this tournament is wide open. Um, at least that's the way that we're looking at it. We don't think that whoever wins the next game is going to get the number one seed go heading into Rwanda. We're just taking it one game at a time. And uh, we know that we have a big task ahead of us in two days. And we're just going to prepare for it like we prepare for any other game and, and hope for the best. بس هو عايز برضه ان البطوله دي كبيره وهم برضه عارفين ان هم عندهم هدف معين كبير عايزين يوصلوا له الجمعه وان هم هيشتغلوا عليه شغل. 
Это за почти год, да, очень разные почти. Я умолею, за время полпять, все эти новые уделы, и за время уходили, то было индивидуал кем, то не было дем, то есть и лавил текст, и за время, и у них были сайты, за время. So if you have any messages from Bulgaria, and the better I can call you. He's trying to stir something up. I mean, obviously, I know those guys really well. Um, I coached them on the national team for a number of years. Uh, I think really highly of a lot of the guys on that team. I could text him my response. So, you know, we, we still have that kind of relationship. Um, but, uh, you know, I love the guys in our locker room. And, you know, I wear Zemelik on my chest right now. So, or I guess not tonight, but, <laughs> but normally. Uh, so, um, you know, when, when I see them in the cafeteria, the hotel, you know, we, we hug and catch up. But when we walk out onto this floor, you know, now we're, we're enemies. Um, and that's just the way sports works. Yeah. <laughs> وان هو بيحب الفريق اللي هو فيه مرة هو دلوقتي والناس اللي معاه في الفريق اللي بيبقوا معاه في الاوضه في نص الوقت وان هو دلوقتي الفريق اللي هو لابسه هو الزمالك وان هو بي... بس برضه في نفس الوقت هو لما بيشوفهم بيسلم عليهم عادي وهو عمره ما هيكون اعداء معاهم. Any last questions? Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.